Shalom, Akim. Okay, we'll start by giving all praise to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rukhak Kodash. Okay, Shalom, double honors unto the elders, the apostles of GMS, and honor that it's the brethren on the highways and byways, teaching the truth in all sincerity. Okay, just another video. Just watching uh, our apostle Tazio this morning. You know, I watched the majority of it. You know, these these guys. You know, it, you know these Christians are getting butt hurt, man. You know, they're getting butt hurt. You know, but hey, it's, it's not our fault, man. <laughs> it's not our fault. You know, they they don't want us to be the Israelites, man. And you, you got guys like uh, uh, EJ Love, uh, Vocab, No Class Malone. Um, what's his name? Uh, no, G Man. All these all these cats that have come out. These, these so-called Christians are coming out talking garbage, you know, against this man. It, it purely boils down to that they don't want us to be right, okay? Because it's evident in the scriptures they don't know how to use the scriptures. They don't, they don't have any understanding of the scriptures whatsoever, man. You know, but yeah, the, you know, these Christians are losing their damn minds, man. Okay, they don't want us to be right, okay? They. they you know, they don't, well, at the end of the day, man, these Edomites, they don't, who wants to be put into slavery, man? Okay, they, they don't, they don't want, they don't want us to be right, man. Okay, and they'll, they'll come up against us, you know, till the missiles come, man. You know, but it's evident, you know, guys like, um, you know, the latest one being fucking, uh, what's the dude, man? Not Jesus is the word. Uh, EJ Love, that's the that's it. Okay, <laughs> you know, because in, in, in these Christians that they have a doctrine. Okay, they're not they're not they're not they're not dealing with the scriptures, man. They have a doctrine. All these Christians, they have a doctrine. They get taught to them, and they are regurgitating doctrine. Okay, and all these Christians do the same thing, and that's why they can never come with anything, you know, um, substantial. In trying to combat us, combat, combat against this man, you know, so-called contend for the, contend uh, for the faith, man. Because the only person that's really contending is, you know, us brothers that are on the highways and byways, man. These Christians, man, they just, they, they retort the same rhetoric over and over again. The one, one-dimensional Christian, man. Because all they can talk about is, oh, how, you know, how the Lord can save everybody, and that you, you, you know, too angry and all this kind of stuff. Like, come on, man. Have you even read the scriptures? Okay. The scriptures is not all about love, man. Okay. The salvation is not appointed to everybody. Okay. Like I said, we're out here to debunk all these false philosophies, man. And that's why you'll see us commenting on, you know, particular videos that we come across, whether it be um, from other so-called borrowers, uh, you know, in different camps or, you know, these Christians when they, the, when they buck up, man, because we, we ain't got no issues dealing with you guys, man, because you guys are such a, 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 a low level that it's, it's not, it's not worth our time, man. But it's you guys that want to come up against us and disprove us. Go ahead, be my guest. Okay. But do what you're supposed to do. Prove what you're, you're, you're what you're saying, man, rather than just say things. So you come out with one, two scriptures and with no edification, you don't back up anything you say, man. You did, you know, misconstrue two scriptures, and you won't go for the whole the whole of the scriptures to, to to settle the matter. Okay, to find out the true cause, which the boys of GMS do, man. We study. Okay, which gets me onto my first scripture, man. We study, man. We know these scriptures. Okay, we know what the scriptures say, and we know what they, you know, how they link up, what it pertains to, or what it doesn't pertain to, man. Okay, these, these Christians, they just grab scriptures out of thin air, man. Oh, yeah, you use that. You know, for God lots of love the world. But no understanding. Okay, you Christians are really weak. Okay, you're weak in, in the scriptures. Okay, and you're weak in the faith. Okay, the faith you hold is, is a, a man-made doctrine, which is your own doctrine. Like, I, you know, I just want to get along with everybody kind of spirit, man. The Lord isn't trying to get on with everybody, man. The Lord is going to... When he comes, when he returns, it's going to cause a lot of death and destruction, man. Okay? 
So that's, that ain't the right spirit, man. You Christians are not in the right spirit. The Lord ain't dealing with you, you so-called Christianity, man, because you're not true Christians, man. It's like you. But yeah, that, like I said, brings me to my first scripture, right? It's 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15. It says, Study to shoot thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Okay, you need to be able to know how to how to dissect these scriptures properly, man. And you've got to be shown how to do that, man. The Spirit has got to be working with you to be able to for you to be able to do that. Okay, and you Christians, you're not getting shown jack shit. You go up in the church, you don't learn a damn thing. You learn, you learn a, a, a message that the, the pastor or whoever, you know, is, is conducting the, the, the ceremony or, or whatever. That's that's what you receive. You receive that message that he gives you, man. And he might read four scriptures the whole time. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe you will not read nothing. You know, he'll just talk the whole time. Okay, everything that we talk, that we, you talk about on the highways and byways, man, we back up with the scriptures, man. None of it is coming off our own minds, you know, from our own will. It's all in the scriptures, man. And we link up the scriptures appropriately to what it pertains to, man. Okay, this all has to be consistent, man. Christians are in another in another dimension entirely, man. Okay, they 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 make up their own doctrine as 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 they see fit. Okay, they're all a bunch of hypocrites. Okay. They don't they don't they don't follow the scriptures, man. Okay, they don't they don't consent to the scriptures, right? It says, but shun profane and vain babblings. Anything that don't belong in, in the truth, you know, in terms of doctrine, should be shunned. It's, it's, it's vain and it's profane babbling. Okay, the Lord never came to save the whole world. That's vain. That's that's profane. Get it out. Okay, that that's not in the scriptures, man. That that's a, a doctrine of man. Okay, that is not something that was was being taught back then. Okay, hence it's not being taught now by us. Okay, that's you guys. You guys are, are running running off with some mythical doctrine, some universal cosmic Christ. Okay, that doesn't exist in the scriptures, man. Okay. It says, for they will increase unto more ungodliness. And, and that's what that's what we see, man. That's why we've got so many people that are following all these different doctrines under the guise of Christianity. And none of them got it right. None of them. None of them have got it right. It doesn't matter what sect of Christianity you, 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 you're into, man. None of you have got it right. Okay, you, you have certain spins on shit, you know, certain slight differences. Okay, but your your overall doctrine is is the foundations of your doctrine are the same, and it's all wrong. Your foundation is not Yahweh Shai, it's not the Lord. Okay, because you don't you don't want to believe that Jesus is His name. You don't want to believe that He's He's a so-called black person. But these things are in the scriptures. Okay, it's not something that we just made up to suit our needs. That's not that's never it's never been about that. Okay, but. These things are in the scriptures and we're just bringing them out to you. We're unveiling them to you, man, because you don't know shit. Okay? And, you you know, you, you madden us to, to the point where you're just like, we feel sorry for you guys, man. You, you know, you guys are just a, a too weak really to contend, man. And yet, you know, you, you're in vain attempting to, to mess up things, man. Okay? Because, you know what I mean? It's, it's not the first time. Seeing guys like you, man, you you know, you always get new guys creeping out of the woodworks wanting to talk their madness. But it's all the same, man. It's all the same. Okay. Um, this is the book of Acts. Uh, chapter, chapter 17. Mm -hmm. Verse 10, right? All right, this is Acts chapter 17, verse 10. It says, And the brethren immediately sent away Paul and Silas by night unto Berea, who coming thither went into the synagogue of the Jews. These were more noble than those in Thessalonica, in that they received the word with all readiness of mind and searched scriptures daily, whether those things were so. Okay, that is what you're meant to be doing. Okay, you hear us. When you hear us speak on the highways and byways, or you see these videos, right? The first thing that the majority of people do is automatically, you know, block it out. Okay, you 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 come against it straight away. 
said, oh, that, that's that's not right. That's not correct. I don't know. These guys are going, you know, you don't, you don't ever search the scriptures, man. Just, you know, like I said, you, you Christians are not really skilled in, in the scriptures anyway. you got a lot of doctrine that you hold and you can regurgitate from the top of your head because it's, you know, two sentences, you know. But you're not actually skilled in the scriptures, man. What you should be doing when you're hearing something that you, you've never heard before is it basically look it up. You know, go through the scriptures, man. Forget what you all you think you know, because already as a Christian you got it wrong. So you should be a bit, you know, you should, you know, you should be a bit flip flop in, in in your scriptures in in your faith anyhow, because you you know you don't really understand the scriptures. So you should go back and read the scriptures anyhow, right? But these guys they are all noble because they would actually look up the things that Paul and Silas are speaking. Okay, just like you know, before we came into the truth, man, we looked things up, man. We heard. We heard about the scriptures and the things that were contained in the scriptures, and it blew out, you know, blew my mind when I first heard this, man. And I, you know, I, I was like, damn. But what did I do? We, we go to look into it, man, to see if it was so, if it was true, because I didn't know nothing about the scriptures before I came in this truth. You know, I had curiosity. I mean, I heard a lot of different things in the world about the Bible and about other religions and all that kind of stuff, man. I didn't really know shit. Okay, I didn't, I didn't know a damn thing. Okay, but the whole point was it was meant to move you, the spirit is meant to move you, if the spirit is dealing with you, meant to move you to go and look these things up and find if it's true or not, man. Okay, because everybody is was indoctrinated before they come in this truth, man. And now we're indoctrinated with the two, true true doctrine. Okay? All these lies that we had before, man, we had to cast that away. Okay, but we had, you know, but we looked things up, man, to find if if, if that was the case. You know, when I heard, heard first heard, oh, the Lord is a so-called uh, black man, I was like, whoa, 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 real? And when I was shown it, and then I've seen all the other scriptures that would back that up, it makes complete and perfect sense. And that's what you're meant to do. Okay, some guys don't go that far. They ain't that deep. Okay, some some people just hold on to their doctrine, which is the majority of people. Okay, especially these Christians, man. You can't tell, you can't, you can't tell a Christian anything, man. Okay, they're so stuck in, in that that in that mentality, man. It's a difficult curse to break. Okay, a difficult demon to break, man. But you know, for the for those the Lord, you know, has chosen, man. You'll come out of that Christianity madness, you know, and you'll be revealed unto the truth, man. But the rest of you, man, you're all blind. Okay, and you're gonna remain you're gonna remain blind, man. Okay. Uh, Mark chapter twelve. Chapter 12 and verse, yeah, Mark 12, and verse 24, All right, it says, And Yahweh shall answer and said unto him, Do ye not, do ye not know, it's like a, do ye not therefore err, because ye, ye know not the scriptures, neither the power of God, and that's what it boils down to, you don't actually know the scriptures, man, you don't actually know them. Okay, you read them, you, you, you might read them, you know, you might sing, I don't know, whatever you do, man, okay, because I know that most of you people just sit there, <laughs> some of you fall asleep, <laughs> you know, some of you just sing and dance, okay, none of you actually sit there and study to know the scriptures, it's because you like the idea of the doctrine that's being taught with the scriptures, that's why you go to church, because you like the idea of it. You like the idea of, of you know, loving the world. Because you want to seem righteous, man. You, you know, at the end of the day, it's, 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 it's all, uh, everything's face value with Christians, man. They want to perceive to be holy and do this and do that, you know. Be, you know, to have that, what's, what's that term, man? To have the, the higher ground on people, man. You know, oh, yeah, you know, he, he you know. Hey, hey, you know, hate your, I love your enemies and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, he's like, well, I'm, I'm, a bigger, I'm a bigger person than that, all that kind of stuff, man. But it's just bullshit at the end of the day, man. It's not pertaining to the scriptures. What you're doing, what you're teaching does not pertain to the scriptures, man. Okay, you you want to live in la-la land, man. You, you want to act like the Lord never done a, hurt, a, hurt a fly, man. Okay, you know, yeah, you know you're living in la-la land, man. All right, so yeah, you are not knowing the scriptures. Okay, because we, we bring out lots of things, man. We you know you, you know we had the um, 
another video I was watching this morning with uh, EJ Love complaining, <laughs> complaining that you know, bro is not making videos. And we got 50 plus videos talking about me. Because he, what was he saying? Uh, oh, we're, we're obsessed with him. No, not even, not even the case, man. Considering how many bros are in GMS, you know, 50 videos is is, is minor. You know, because every brother could have could have made a video on you. They didn't. You know. And that that could have been just one video, you know, but you know, the spirit got on certain bars to do these videos again, uh, you know, on you or against you or whatever, man. So it is what it is, man. But you're small fry, man. It's not. It's not <laughs> don't get flattered, okay? It, it's nothing to do with that. It, we just we just got a duty, man, and the brothers were, were on it, okay? They were on it and and you know decided to make that video on you, man. But yeah, now, now you're making a response video. Talking about how we were obsessed and how you gonna make counter videos to our doctrine, you know. And the first thought I had was, good luck with that, man, because um, you know, you you won't be the first person to try and make videos, counter, um, you know, can't, trying to counter us. But but that's what you're meant to do. You're meant to go through the script because now we're forcing you to go through the scriptures. That's that's what we we've, we've made you do. Okay, because you don't know the scriptures, we were forcing you, because you could have done a video then, but you rather did, you know, you prefer to do a video on um, the fact that there's videos being made upon you as opposed to edifying anybody, you know, but you said you said you got to make these videos, um, so we're making you go through the scriptures to search out information to, to, because to, you got to search out the information to try and disprove us, okay? Whether you're not, if you, you know, whether you're not, you're aware of the scriptures that you know that we've brought out in the past, you know, about reincarnation, about um, uh, the Lord's appearance, um, you know, virgin birth, if you believe in that, whatever, you know, all that debunking stuff. You know, we're making you have to do some work now. Okay, it's not work for us. This is what we do. We we already know these scriptures, so we, you know, it might be just a simple case of a word search. Okay, and and we've got the scripture that we wanted. But you are having to actually do some work now, because you're not learned, you're not skilled in the scriptures. So you're gonna to have to go through scriptures to try and prove your point. Because we shouldn't, to be fair, the position that we're in, man, we shouldn't have to prove a damn thing to you, man. It's you, it's you guys that should be proving to us your doctrine, man. Because you, you got holes everywhere in your doctrine. It's leaky as hell, leaky as hell, man. And the only reason that you're coming up against us, man, because you got fucking demons on you, man. Okay. You just don't want us to be those guys, and you know, fair enough. But th the fact is that we've been set up to be these guys, okay? To to teach this truth, man. You know what? You might not like the doctrine. That's fine. That's that's no that's no no problem for us, man. You know, you don't like the doctrine. People didn't like Yahweh Shai's doctrine. You know, it's just no strange thing. Okay. Uh, this is um, Matthew's chapter fifteen. Uh, verse 8 it said this people draweth nigh unto me with their mouth and honoreth me honoreth me with their lips but their heart is far from me but in vain do they, they do worship me teaching for doctrines the commandments of men okay you supposedly worship the Lord you know supposedly you don't know the name of the Lord don't know nothing about the Lord don't know his doctrine but anyway you, you know you supposedly you know believe in the Lord um so you know you're you're worshiping this this you know this power this you know, our Lord and all that kind of stuff, man. But in vain, because one, it's not even the Howard Shire you're worshiping anyway, and and two, you don't like I said, you don't know a damn thing about him, or his word. You know what you hold is the commandments of men. That's what you have. Okay, but you're you're trying to you're trying to make it seem that that's worshiping the Lord, but that's not. Okay, so you might say all these good things here, yeah, the Lord this, the Lord that, but you don't know the Lord. Okay, you don't know his scriptures, you don't you don't know the word, period. Okay, read it again. So this people draweth nigh unto me with their mouth and honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me, because you don't know him. All right, but in vain do they worship me. You're doing all that stuff that you're doing in vain. Okay, is this going to get you destroyed at, at the end of the day, man, if you don't repent? I mean, if you if you if you're not an Israelite, you, I mean, you can't repent. But you know what I mean. Everyone, every every those that have come up against us, man, they, they need to repent. 
Okay. It says, um, say, but in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. And like I said, that's what you have. That's what these Christians have. They have doctrines of men. They don't. They don't know the scriptures. And how bad is it? <laughs> well, I'll say this, man. How bad is it? You, you can't even open open up the book, right, and read the first um, <laughs> the first verse in Genesis and get it right. The majority of you people get it wrong. Okay, so what do you really know? You came to know the the the, the, the he came to know the Lord and, and his message, his doctrines, but you don't know the rest of the scriptures. So how can you know the Lord and, he, and, he's, and what he was talking about and what he meant if you don't know the rest of the scriptures? Everything that's been written is, is, is all a part of you know, the knowledge, man. Yahweh Shai didn't, it was nothing separate from, from that. Okay, so I mean, Yahweh Shai is the word, he is the whole thing. He's, you know, all the way back from then till now. You know, so-called Old Testament and New Testament. You know, he encompasses the whole thing. You have to know the whole book to understand the whole message. Okay, because you, when you speak, you don't have the understanding to speak upon these things, man. You know, trying to trying trying to um, trying to know what the Lord meant when He said this and when He when He said that or did this. You don't know because you don't know the rest of the scriptures. You you just you read an account and you know you can't relate it to anything, man. But I say all this, all this stuff that you're doing is all in vain, man. And it's Isaiah chapter Isaiah 28, uh, verse seven. All right, it says, uh, "But they have also, but they also have erred through wine, and through strong drink are they out of the way." Okay, that's talking about these philosophies, man. These doctrines of men. Okay, people have erred through through that. Okay, like I said, if you go into the history of Christianity, man, it was being it's been corrupt from 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 its inset, man. After the disciples and the apostles were were killed off and died, okay, and Constantine, you know, declared Christianity as as the religion of his empire, you know, it's been corrupt. Okay, it's been corrupt, and what you hold is is the do doctrines of men. Okay, because Constantine was preaching that universalism, man. Okay, but, but the apostles and the disciples were concerned about Israel. Okay, and, and you know, concerned about the, the scattered sheep of Israel, man. Okay, the Israelite foreigners, the Gentiles. Okay, about restoring the kingdom to Israel. This is what we was about because they knew the scriptures, man. They knew the prophecies, which is another thing. Okay, and we'll get to that in a minute. Says, but they also have erred through wine and through strong drink are they out of the way. The priest and the prophet have erred through strong drink. They are swallowed up of wine. They are out of the way through strong drink. They err in vision. They stumble in judgment. For all tables are full of vomit and filthiness so that there is no place clean. Whom shall he teach knowledge and whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Then they are weaned from, from the milk and drawn from the breast. For precept must be upon precept. Precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little and there a little. Okay, so you got to, the truth is like a jigsaw, man. You got to match things up. Okay, and you got to be taught how to do that. Okay, the spirit has got to be dealing with you to be able to make the connections, man. You Christians cannot make the connections. Okay, you can't do that with understanding, man. Okay, you lack in the spirit. You're lacking the spirit. You don't have it. You have you have an ideology. Okay, you are, you are you know they like to call us a cult, which they don't even understand the term cult, man. But really, in that in that perspective, you're the real cult. You know, if you're if you're meaning it to be that you know we're the senseless drones, man. No, that's you guys, man. You don't you don't understand words. You don't understand history. You don't understand passages in, in the scriptures. You just don't understand anything, man. Even though we make it clear to you, man. Okay? But yeah, you got to go throughout the scriptures and, you know, piece things together, man. To get the full and total understanding of these things. Okay? Which you guys just don't do. You don't spend enough time with that, man. That's that's too hard for you, man. You know, 
you're okay with the ideology. It's more than that, man. Okay. This is Romans chapter 15. Romans 15. 15 verse 4, right? It says, For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning. Okay, so the whole scriptures have to be considered when, when you're reading things, man. It should be putting you back in remembrance of things that are written before time, because it has to link up. Okay, the Yahweh didn't fulfill anything that wasn't written before. Or was how could they know he was the Messiah, man? I mean, granted the majority of our, of our people, okay, our people, the Israelites, rejected him. Okay, but that wasn't the case for all of us, man. Okay, because all the, all the disciples, all the apostles were Israelites. Okay, and they had to know. They knew. The Spirit revealed it unto them, man. Like I said, the church of Bria, man, they, they searched the scriptures. What scriptures were they searching? They're searching the books of the prophets, man, the books of Moses. They, was, they were searching all these things to see if, if they matched up. And for them, it did. That's why they believed. They were diligent, man. And that's, that's one thing you Christians aren't, man. You're not diligent. Okay? So for whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. This, these scriptures give us hope because we have understanding of all these things that are written aforetime. Because it's all about the prophecies, man. All about the promises. Okay, which you Christians want to negate so you can so you can get in on, on, on the act, man. But this this invitation ain't open to you, man. Unless you're an Israelite, man, you and you and you um convert. Okay, you, you convert to the true doctrine of Yahweh Shai, you're not going to get saved, man. The salvation is not for you. Okay? Uh, okay, uh, Acts chapter 24 and verse 14. It says here, but, I, but this I confess unto thee that after the way which they call heresy so worship i the god of my fathers but even all things which are written in the law and in the prophets okay for you old or, or new testament israelites out there that don't believe the old testament or vice versa man guys are ignorant as hell okay it's one book okay old testament new testament they're just labels man it's one book okay made up of any books of, of course you know books of Moses, the books of the prophets, but it's one book, it's been compiled into one book, the Lord, uh, the script, there's a scripture on that, the Lord brought these books together, man, okay, through the, through the spirit, okay, so, it's one book, man, a man are trying to separate the book, you know, uh, this doesn't matter anymore, and, you know, but this matters, and that doesn't matter, you can't be selective, man, when you, when you read the scripture, man, you've got to take it in its attire. You can't be selective and, oh, yeah, but that's done away with it. That doesn't matter anymore. Because you Christians do the same thing. You pick certain scriptures, oh, yeah, but that's, you know, the Lord, you know, you know the, the Jews, they rejected the Lord. But what did the prophecy say? The prophecy said the same thing, that these things were the same things would happen anyway, man. But these, these guys, they, they just, they're not learnt. Okay, they're not, the spirit is not dealing with them, man. They're on that, that philosophical Christianity bullshit, man. Okay? The Lord ain't dealing with you, man. The Lord ain't deal, dealing with Christianity, man. <laughs> I mean, I was, I'm not, TV's on, right? We've got news in the background, getting headlines flashed up here. It's, it's Christmas Day, man. People are dying, man. It's Christmas Day. People are dying on the so-called Lord's birthday, which a lot of you Christians are going to celebrate or celebrating today. A lot of people dying today, man, going to mass and stuff, man. You know, I think 20 people in the Philippines or something like that, they all died. But come on, man. Does this, does this make any sense to you, man? Christianity is not the way of the Lord, man. It's not the, the spirit of the Lord ain't dealing with Christianity, man. Got all these demons up on the screen celebrating Christmas, royal, so-called royal family and shit. You know what I mean? They're giving their speeches and that. Pope Francis giving these speeches and that. Come on, man. I want to do another video on that another time. Pope Francis, man, talking about two-state solution. Man, these, these guys can go. They, they're going to be destroyed, man. Okay, these are not no representatives of, of Yahweh Shai. Okay, they're all, they're all devils, man. Okay. 
But yeah, but like I said, all, all these things that these Christians believe in, man, it's all wacky shit. Okay? They're the ones that come up with, with Christmas and Easter and all this kind of stuff. And they're just old pagan festivals, man. Celebration days. Okay, and they and they're holding they're they're holding true to them. But they believe that they're worshipping the Lord. No, you you worshiping a bunch of devils, man. Okay, and you try and defend everything, man. Even though you know it's some it's bullshit. All right, it's John chapter 7. It's got a few more scriptures. Uh, verse uh, 38. John 7, 38. It says here, He that believe on me, as the scripture have said, okay, not about what you have, how you think about him, or what you was told about him, or what you've been taught about him, is, uh, uh, you know, unless it's what is in the actual scriptures. So he that believeth on me, as the scripture have said, out of his belly shall flow rivers, live, uh, rivers of living water. Everybody else is going to be destroyed, man. Okay, if you're not believing on the Lord as the scripture has said, and that's that's the whole book. Okay, because there's many things pertaining to the Lord in that book. It speaks about the Lord in the whole Old Testament, so-called Old Testament and New Testament. Okay, it speaks about the Lord. Okay, if you don't believe in Him as the scripture has said, man, you won't be destroyed. Okay, that's why anything that we're saying it comes out of the scriptures, man. It doesn't come off our own mind. You know, we haven't got no you know, uh, pre, uh, perception perception of him, that he, he has to be this and that and to suit our needs. No, the Lord's not about suiting our needs, man. Lord, we're not here for that, okay? We're here to suit the Lord, okay? We're just merely bringing out to you things about the Lord and about his word, okay? That 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 is all, man. We found it, we revealed it, okay? And people got a problem with that, okay? Everything that we revealed, people have a problem with. You know, they don't want to, they don't want to believe it but that's fine you know it is what it is man uh, did I read that twice? Yeah. all right it's revelation chapter 30 no sorry chapter 3 revelation 30. Uh, chapter 3 verse 30 verse 20. Right, Revelation 3 verse 20 says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and I will, and will sup with him and he with me. Okay, the Lord's going to reveal these things unto you if the, if you're, if the Lord's dealing with you. Okay, the fact is that, you know, you, you got Christians in debates breaking down saying that I don't know because they don't, they don't know. It just goes to show you the Lord ain't dealing with these people, man. You know, are you going to be in the debate and you, all you got for an answer is I don't know? Man, you're meant to know. Okay, if, if, you, if you come up, come with, come at us with a, with a scripture or a question, we're going to find the scripture to, to, to show you what it is we're talking about, man. Okay, you can't be talking about something and not have a scripture to back up what you're saying. Okay, that, that's, that's not how things work, man. But that's what a lot of Christians do. You like to talk. You like to talk about things and not understand what it is you're talking about, man. Or if it's even true. You not search that if it's true or not. You just believe that that's that you just believe that's you just believe that's right. You know, I admire your faith, but your faith is misplaced. You know, and you're gonna be you're a bunch of fools for that, man. Okay, we believe in the scriptures, and the Lord has, has sucked with us to understand these scriptures, man. Okay, that's why we come out bold and, and you know in what we do, man. Okay, and we are, we're out here as teachers, and we're not out here to be taught by you, you, you fools, man. Okay, you're not you're not going to convince us by some weak argument, man. You're not going to convince us, period. Okay, but is it but the audacity of the fact that you Christians are just super weak in the scriptures, man? But be, believing that you know you deserve it to mix up with the best of us, man, <laughs> shouting us down in the street. Well, you know you're not on that level, man. You know, you can, you can have your five minutes of fame shouting us down at the camp or whatever. You know, it doesn't mean a damn thing at the end of the day. Okay, because, you, you know, you're always going to be the idiot when all, when all things are said and done. Okay. Uh, right. So, yeah, last scripture, man. 
This is Revelation chapter 19, uh, verse 10. It says, and I, and I fell at his feet to worship him, and he said, un, said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy, thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship God, Yahweh. For the testimony of Yahweh Shai is a spirit of prophecy. And that's another thing you guys don't deal with. You don't deal with prophecy. You have no understanding of it. You don't know what the hell is going on. Okay? You can't you you, you can't show us anything concerning prophecy, man. Okay, you just don't understand it. Okay, but again, if 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 you if you if the Lord was dealing with you, man, you'd understand these things, man. And you wouldn't be, you know, some of you guys wouldn't be telling us, oh, I don't know. Okay, because a lot of you guys, you know, he, at least he said he didn't know. Because a lot of you guys, you you make up some bullshit. You will pull something out of your ass, man. You you make up a new doctrine right there on the spot, you know, to defend yourself with. You know, something that something that's not even that's not in the scriptures, man. Some people butcher scriptures to defend themselves. Some people just make up shit to defend themselves, man. You know, some spin-off like, but he, you know, he he didn't know. He didn't know the answers. If you don't know the answers, man, you, you then you got no 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 authority, no position to teach. Okay, much less much less tell us anything. You know. But yeah, you don't deal with the prophecy, man. Okay? The Messiah is going to come and destroy this place, man. And, and he's going to put all these nations into slavery. Okay? Underneath the Israelites. That's prophecy, man. Prophecy states that Israel will be gathered from the four winds of heaven. That's prophecy, man. Okay? And we're in that time now. Israel is being gathered. Okay? We are being uh, awoken to this truth. Okay, and the, and these apostles, these disciples are out there in the throughout the four corners teaching, man. Our word goes out to the four corners, man. Okay, but this isn't for the many. Okay, the Lord's the Lord's you know, the Lord says, um, right, we're a small sanctuary, man. Okay, the Lord ain't dealing with you Christians, man. He ain't dealing with hey, he hates he hates Edomites, man. I'll tell you that. Scriptures tell you that. Okay, prophecy states Esau is going to be destroyed. Okay, so there's a lot of things you don't want to deal with, man, because it, it don't sound nice to you. It don't sound right. Well, that's too bad. Okay, but it's in the scriptures, man, and you know, when it gets when it gets brought out, you have to deal with it. You have to answer it, man. What does that mean? Okay, a lot of times you just make up some bullshit, or you know, or you say you don't know. So if you don't know, man, don't bother us. Okay, go read the scriptures. Okay, because you don't if you don't want to hear it from us, man, go read the damn scriptures, man. Salakia. Go read the scriptures. You know? Sitting there, you know, coming against us, man, telling us that we're wrong and we're not the Israelites and all this kind of stuff, but you got no premises on, on any of that. Okay, they're just your your own thoughts, your own mind. Okay, because you're hurt, you're emotional. Okay? And you know, that that, that the, the video uh, Elder Apostle Hard put up, man. Yeah, man, you're losing sleep, man. Okay? You're losing sleep, man, because you're through. You don't want it to be true, <laughs> but it is. Okay? You're going to have to deal with that when it comes. Okay? So, you now with that, bro, I'm going to say Shalom, and man, I'll catch you boys on the next video. Shalom.